Welcome back to Satisfactory. In this episode, uh, the plan is to uh, move uh, the smelters and these constructors over to the arrays that we set up in the previous episode. And to do that, we need to do some preparation work because this uh, line of limestone here that is uh, going to this uh, construction uh, or constructor here that is making concrete is going to be in the way. So we have to go over to the, um, the, the miner there and let's just cut the power line so that I don't have to deal with lots of limestone in my inventory. We don't have that much space and I'm out of uh, storage in the, uh, the hub currently and I don't have the uh, appropriate research to do the um, uh, storage chest so I would have to use these uh, uh, gigantic storage containers which would be rather inconvenient currently. Uh, let's uh, go and uh, terminate. Yes, that's the word. Terminate this belt, or rather dismantle it. Because we no longer need this belt at all. Uh, then, uh, sorry, there's a few more left. Let's have a look in here. This one is empty. We can take away that. And this one is empty. We can take away that. And this one has iron rods. And this one has iron plates. Let's take those iron plates and let this thing uh, um, manufacture as many as it can, based on that. <coughs> Sorry. And we need to do the same with the copper, I think. Uh, let's just remove the power line over there as well. There we go, and then we can uh, grab this uh, stack of copper ingots, which we will uh, use to craft copper wire, but I'm not sure if I want to do that right away. Actually, I do, so I shall return shortly after I have done that. There we go. I used some of that copper wire to make some more cable as well, because... Uh, that's something that I'd rather not end up lacking. Uh, these iron rods, I'll just leave them there because we don't need them currently. Uh, this array here that is producing the uh, solid biofuel doesn't really need uh, me to do anything currently. But we do have a splitter I mean a merger, so I could potentially set this up with a storage container. Let's just do that quickly because that's uh, it doesn't take long at all. Uh, I'm going to move these to somewhere else uh, as quickly as possible because I don't want them to be over here. Uh, that's the wrong thing. No, it isn't. It's the correct thing. Uh, we want... Come on. We want this to, to snap to that. And then we can build a belt like that. And we can build a belt like that. And we can build a belt like that. And we have glorious pasta here. And we'll just store the uh, the solid biofuel in this container until the uh, wood and the leaves run out. How is it there? This is getting along pretty well. That's nice. Um... <clears throat> While I was waiting for the uh, the, the uh, belt of iron ore to run out, I did place down some more foundations over here. Uh, it's not really that interesting to look at, but uh, I'll show it regardless. I have foundations all the way over to the, the uh, start of the dunes there. Um, and I didn't want to put anything here, because I'm not sure what I want to do with this uh, part in there. We also need to figure out how we want to do the um, the uh, array for uh, iron rods. Uh, we will require four constructors for that, but I'm not sure. I think we do need four constructors for that because we we are going to need quite a bit of nail. Of nail. I keep saying nails. I mean screws. 
and the screws require 10 per minute whereas one of these will make 15 per minute so it can't really be cheap on that either we do need the assembler before i can go to the um the reinforced iron plates which is what we want to uh, manufacture with the screws and uh, okay so this thing is done i'm gonna leave it i think because i want the path to go over there anyways one thing that we have to do in this episode is go find another node of iron uh one node of normal iron is not going to be enough um That's the one here. I remember there being one over there in that direction. Let's go have a look at that node. And this is also one of those things that I would like some feedback on from uh, you guys. Um, do you want me to record uh, going out to like what I'm doing now to a node to check what kind of node it is, kill the... Uh, the evil hogs and whatever might be near the nodes in question and so forth. Uh, or do you want me to just post the game while I, or post the recording while I do that so that we can get to the um, the actual bits of what I'm supposed to do? Hello, hog. Yes, you're very cute. Oh, I was a little bit too late in my jump there. Oh, hog on. There we go. I hope this is an impure one. No, this is a normal one, so that's exactly what we want. Do lack a bit of inventory space, but I'll pick this all up. We can st stash it into the constructor that's making um, plates. Uh, let's just build a miner here right away, actually. Um, I think I want to build it like that. And take the iron down here, and then across the river and over to the smelting array that we're building over there. Let's pick up this slug too while we're at it. I don't know what you're up to but you're having some issues with your uh, planning of where you're going to run my dear hog. It almost is wrong to call them hogs though because they uh, I do like calling them biters. After all we do have spitters as well okay so this thing is done so we can uh, disassemble or dismantle the uh, belt going over there like so I don't think there's much left to do in here of course it lacks one limestone And let's stash this in here. No, of course I can't do that because I would have to um, put it into a smelter. Silly Caladorn. I set this to iron ingots and put it in here then. This one should also be set to be uh, smelting iron ingots. Uh, you... I don't think I have much of a choice. I'm going to have to build some kind of a temporary storage container somewhere over here so that I have uh, any leftover bits uh, in that. Um, I don't really mind it clipping with the uh, with the mountain uh, or outcropping there, but it doesn't really clip that much, so that was actually better than I thought. Now, there's nothing of this I want to put in there. But I do want to disassemble or de deconstruct that. What's in here? Concrete, that's necessary. Let's uh, do that one. And that's what we have space for currently. So I'm going to have to run back. I should make a bridge over here. Jump up here, and I think this is already set to make plates, so we can just stash this in there. And I don't know if we need 
that many rods and plates in our inventory, so I can stash a few of them in there as well. And this limestone is not needed. I'm going to move the hub as well, but not uh, yet. I don't know if we're going to get around to that in this episode. We need to stash these things here in the hub. Oh dear, that was my watch being very aggressive in its uh, notification settings. Let me just turn that on Do Not Disturb. There we go. And this one, we can tear that one down as well now. I can't tear down this container, but that's not a big problem. But I do need to pick up this stack of copper ingots so that this can continue to uh, smelt down the ore. Now I think that we are just about ready for the part where we start um, hooking things up here. Um, so first of all, we're going to need some power poles. And I want to build the power poles on this side. I have a very specific thing with power poles that many people do not enjoy. And by all means, this is something that you definitely do not need to do in your bases. I like to have one power pole per machine. Um, it is completely unnecessary. I could have built one power pole there and that would have been enough to power these two, connect up to the next one and then also to the main grid. But it's just something that I like doing. Um, I, it's just a habit that I've gotten into, I suppose. So I'm just going to continue with doing what uh, is my building style habit, uh, even in this tutorial. Um, because, yeah, that's how I like to do it. And that's what Satisfactory and most production line games are about. Doing things the way you like doing them. Um, what else? Uh, I should put down a power pole somewhere here. Now, I don't have any foundation that it will snap to there, but I believe that a power line going from there to there will not... S no, it will not. Good. I don't want it to... Um, clip through uh, anything. Uh, this power pole... I need to look at these things carefully now. Uh, we want to connect that power pole to that one. And I want to make a power area. Uh, probably somewhere around there, perhaps? Uh, where I can have multiple of the biofuel generators. I don't want to have them over there. Could put them there, but... Okay, let me just pause while I plan this out, because that's something that I want to uh, keep off camera. Okay, I need to change the uh, screen. There we are. Sorry about that. So I decided that I want to have the, uh, the power generators here, because that's uh, kind of out of the way. Uh, it's also going to be easy to line out power poles from that area. I didn't build ramps here, because I don't know how far I want this to go out, nor am I bothering building uh, this in a solid fashion. And if you're wondering, you can have foundations snapping underneath foundations that you've built, and also on top of foundations that you've built, not just on the side of them. But I think I already demonstrated that in an earlier episode, when I, specifically when I did that corner up there, I think. Um, so let's uh, move on to, um, to building some biomass burners up here. Um, where is the pole on that thing. It's there. Okay, so if I build one, two, three, four, five, 
Yeah, no, that's uh, not going to work. Let's do that again, because I want them to be easily accessible from this side here. That looks a bit better. Uh, to I think I'll do. I just want to see that I have enough. Uh, four, five. Can I build a sixth, like clipping into the mountain? It can. Does it clip badly? No, no, it doesn't actually. You'd probably have said encroaching. Uh, let's tear down three of them again. We don't need that many at the beginning. Uh, we'll do the same here with the power poles. We will stick down one power pole near each one of them. And we'll connect them up with power like that. And this should give us 90 megawatts uh, when I have inserted some fuel. And it's a short way to the... Um, area where we generate the fuel as well which is of course quite handy uh, we don't need the power connections from here to the hub anymore because the power is actually not generated at the hub uh, it's generated here in that burner we can dismantle that workshop as well and this power pole this power pole this power pole and yes i am aware of the fact that i just cut off the power to that smelter but i think it's done already uh, I will set up the power poles out there again when we need them. I just want to know that we have... Oh, you're done. Great. I just want to know that we do it in the uh, structured fashion that I want them. So... Uh, splash. I'm not sure if... Yeah, no, I'm probably going to want to set up the miners uh, again with foundations underneath them. Uh, this is part of the thing with Satisfactory, of course, um, especially when you want to plan things out. It's uh, There's a fair amount of time involved in planning. Uh, and that is something that I really enjoy with the game. Uh, I really like this planning ahead. Um, it, it's something that I find very um, relaxing, actually. But yeah, I see that what I want to do... Power pole comes from there. Hmm... Yeah, it's not really that big of an issue if I just connect this thing up to, say, that one. It is a temporary solution, but then again, what isn't temporary solutions in uh, in this game? At least until you get to the... Uh, oh, that one's regrown. Until you get to the mid-section of the game where you uh, restructure things and uh, you actually make your, um, your uh, base. Uh, we need two more smelters here. Uh, we can't use them for anything yet because we need the iron, which we need to pull down from that thing over there. Um, need a couple more power poles for those. I don't want to connect them up yet because... Well, I could connect them up because as long as they're not doing anything... Oh. Maybe I should put them the right way. I did put them the right way. I just selected the wrong power pole. There we go. Set them to uh, iron ingots as well. Okay, so we do have power for these as soon as I actually put biomass fuel into those generators. Let's make sure that everything here is set up correctly. It is, and the input is here. Um... Then we can run out to the uh, mine and uh, reseat it with uh, some uh, foundations underneath, I think. Is 
this going to be too thick? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to use the 8x2 foundation here. Then I'll use the 8x4 foundation there. And then we want the miner itself, of course. That would be impractical. Suppose I could put it at a 90 degree angle. It is not very common for me to do that, but I think that should work fine here. So we also need uh, a belt. The question is... Okay, so I can have it go straight by snapping it like this. But I think that we can't have it go through. I can't get it to snap to that now. I think that we won't be able to have it go through that biomass burner. But I don't really need this biomass burner anymore. We can just tear it down. Uh, we can also tear down this power pole. And then we can build a power pole say uh, here and then we connect that up to this and then we connect that one up to these two. Oh, that one is all already connected right um okay not sure if that's very wise but no matter. Um, can I snap to that? No, I cannot. I don't want it to snap to the other things here. I want it to be straight. I don't think I can get it to be perfectly straight, uh, so we'll just have to wing it. Now, I do suspect that if I make... <clears throat> what happens if I make a conveyor lift? One, two... Let's see here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is that on par with a conveyor pole that is four up in the air? No, it is not. So we would have to make it one, two, three then. Does that work? That's also too much. Um, one, two. Does that clip the power line there? No, it does not. So that would work. And then I go, I think I'll do that manually. One, two, one, two. That's too far. I suspect that that might be... No, that should be right. There we go. And then we connect that to that. Now we have the iron ore coming in there. So all we need to do now is make sure that we have power out to those things. Uh, which we will do by taking that power pole with us. I think I'm just going to do that instead, because I want the line to follow. Wire is too long, that's not a problem. 
put that here and we'll connect it up to the mine and then we'll put the other one I think here and we'll connect that up to that mine so with that all I have to do now is power up the generators. Let's grab three stacks of that. And if anyone has any kind of idea what that singing sound that is very faint in the background is, please tell me in the comments because that is kind of driving me nuts trying to figure out what the heck that is. Okay, I'm overproducing power massively now. I don't think I need this much. Let's just power up two of them. One would be enough, but I don't think I've connected this to... I have actually. Everything is working now. So these smelters will start to work as soon as the iron ore comes from the smelter over there. Some of it is, some of them has already started up because I put some uh, iron ore in here manually. As you can see, it's, uh, it's only doing half a belt here because uh, one of them only produces 30. And the belt contains 60. So the next thing we need to do now is set up power on this side. Uh, do I want to do the same thing here? Yes, I probably do. Should be on this. Uh... That is going to clip, uh, which is not desirable. But I'm going to ignore it. Connect that up to that and that up to that. That looks to be a straight line. Can't connect more to the power pole, but it is at least a straight line. Let me go over there and have a look. Yeah, there we go. That should work. Now we have iron plate production again, albeit very slowly. I believe I have enough to do an iron line going from there. Um de dum de dum. That's quite pretty. That looks like iron ore, yes. Okay, um... I don't know if I want to be too creative here. Uh, let's just do that. And that. I will be rearranging these things uh, at a later point because I normally don't like having lines run like this. And I also prefer to use stacker poles and not these poles because you can get the stacker poles higher but we'll also get back to that at a later point yeah that looks good might have to redo the limestone mine as well no that should be fine actually there we go And 
there. And then we can do the same thing that I've done here uh, with this one. Uh, we want to have a splitter. With an entrance on the back side. And we want it to go like that. And then we'll take the belt out. One, two. And connect it there. And then we'll connect it to the machine. I think that I agreed with myself that I was going up two. Not that it really matters with this one. There we have iron coming into these. And then all we have to do is uh, draw some power lines. With my luck, I'm probably going to run into a jumping crazy spider or something here now. Uh, let's put it here and connect up to the limestone mine. Can I avoid clipping, I wonder? Now that clips. I can avoid clipping, but I'd have to go on the outside of the belt, but that's fine. And connect it to the actual mine, which should then be starting, as we can see by the green indicator light up there. So that's fine. Now we have to wait for all those uh, iron ores to uh, actually get down to the uh, smelters. That's going to take a, take a while, because that belt is not exactly the quickest belt in the game. As a matter of fact, it is the slowest belt in the game. I'm sure that comes as a big surprise to everyone. How do I want to do this then? I think I want to do it very simple, actually. Uh, let's go... Sure it actually uh, snaps. We don't want it to be that close. So let's make it go here. And then two. And three. And four. Now we set these, not plates, we set these to make iron rods. And these ramps are going to be... They're not going to be in the way, but they're not going to be necessary. I think I did this very simple. Yep, I did. So it's basically just a matter of doing... Ah, wait, I need the, um, the spitters first, of course. Uh, one, two, three. I still don't understand why this works with the splitters, but not with the mergers. It used to be that they would go all over the place in terms of the uh, directions. Connect that to that. And we hear the plonk sound. Then we run a belt between these. Like so. And I'm going to have to cave in in terms of that uh, part here. Because I need uh, to have the belt coming out there. Um, but I'm not going to cover too much of the river, so it'll be fine. What I will do, however, is place a ramp here. That's not acceptable. Also, it is not necessary. We just need a ramp there or a foundation there. So if I have a foundation ramp here and then I can have more foundations here. And then we need to go back to the first hotbar and we need to make a merger here. Two, three. 
See, now it turns for some reason. The next one is fine, but it's going to turn. Don't understand why. You'd think that they'd fix both of them if they fixed one of them. Oops. And that is in that line. Thank you. One, two, and we go up. Do we go up four? Whoa. That's the flying spaghetti monster. No, that's too high. Is, is it three then? It has to be three. It can't be two. That seems too, too low. Yeah, no, that's that straight. Then we just take a belt from there to there, and we get a nice ninety-degree uh, curved angle there, which is what I wanted. And the iron ore is slowly trickling in here, so that means that we are almost at our goal. The one thing that I do need to do is do something about that limestone mine. Not sure why I connect it to power, because I want to uh, use foundations underneath here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then minor. Now that's fine. That means we can remove those three. Save some concrete. The thing is, do I want to... I think I actually just want to do it very simple. Uh, have a constructor here? I mean, why do we have to make this complicated? If I put a constructor there, and we just take a belt from there to there, and set this to make concrete, and then... I would like it on the other side, but it's not really a major issue, so I'll just do this, this, and this. And go back to that. So, one, two, one, two. Two is that ah sorry about that. One, two, one, two. I'm thinking that might be too far away. No, it does make an angle, but it is too far away based on what I planned. Uh maybe I just put up the belt and I do not that way. This way. One, two. There we go. That is exactly what I want, and then we have a storage container, and we just align that up with that belt. Not that it wants to snap, so I would actually have to go behind the belt and see that it's in the correct uh, location. We don't need it to be far away, so that should be fine. And here we have our own little concrete. Uh, a concrete uh, manufacturing facility. We can place down a couple of ramps here so that it's easy for me to run back and forth. Like that. And how many connections do we have? Ah. Go away. How many connections do we have on this one? Two. I don't think that will clip. No, it won't. So we can just do this and we can do that. And voila! We have concrete production as well. Let's go see that everything is okay over there. Because it doesn't look... No, of course it isn't. You know, there, it's always a good idea to, to place down power when you want uh, constructors to do things for you. That is one of the the tips that I will give, give you here. Um, why did I place that out there? It's supposed to be there. Hmm. 
And then this one should connect to that one. I'm sure Wally will be very, very displeased by the fact that I am uh, not bothered by uh, clipping power poles. But to that I say, too bad, Wally. Um, there, 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 and finally there. Now we have a functioning iron rod construction assembly as well. So what we then need to do is set up a couple of storage containers so that we can uh, use these. And I do have plans, of course. I do have plans. One, two, three. I don't know if it's necessary with three here because I actually think that I'm going to go... No, I can't. Yes, I can. So this one can just be one away. That's fine, actually. Like so, and this one we don't need. Uh, so just do this and one, two, and connect that up to that. Let's connect up these before we connect up anything else. Just That's just a simple tip. It's easier to run here uh, if you connect up the machines first than if you connect up these belts first, because if you connect up the belts first, that can get annoying. Uh, we need to do the same over here. We need one merger, and uh, one away is fine. Take this, uh, one, two, a straight angle, and connect up that. And now I need some kind of storage for it. Ah, we ran out of power. That's not entirely unexpected. Um, I was actually waiting for that to happen. Uh, let's make a ramp here, just so I have a simple way of getting up here from this angle until I uh, connect up everything. And uh, let's turn the fuse box on and boom. There we go. Yeah, this is not what I envisioned. Um, I am going to change that. Because I want this to be just one up, actually. I got some iron ore there that I can put in here. Now, the final thing that we need to do here is make the storage containers. And we don't need that much of a space, so I'll make the storage containers two away. Uh, the other way would be nice. One, two, three, preferably. We'll do the same here. Uh, one, two. Come on, you can just put it. I need both green lines because now it's snapping to both the uh, merger over there and it's also snapping to the storage container behind us. That one. And then we take a lift. We go... I think one up should suffice. Do the same here. Go one up. And here. Go one up. And here. One up. Not two. And then we belt over there, and we belt over there. And all of a sudden we are producing and storing iron rods and iron plates in these two containers. Perfect. So, that's uh, our basic, basic, basic stuff set up. Um, in the next episode, I want to move the hub... Uh, and I want to start producing copper wire. And if time permits, we should also think about producing screws so that we can uh, get the uh, milestones. 
Uh, as you can see, the current milestone field research requires 300 of both copper wire and screws, and it also requires 100 of the iron plates, but that's not a big issue at all. So those things are fairly important, and those things kind of is a, a recipe uh, or content for the research recipes or whatever you should call these things, the milestones that we are going to need them for all of them. We also need the screws for making reinforced iron plates, which is also a very important part in the next tier, which is tier 2. The field research is a tier 1 research. I also need more iron so that I can have at least four constructors making iron plates, because two constructors making iron plates, that's not going to be enough. Uh, even for the beginning of the game. Uh, preferably, I think we want four of them, to be honest. But that requires me finding at least two more iron nodes. So, one thing that I think that I will do in between episodes, even though I haven't gotten a response from you guys yet, because I'm recording two episodes in advance, um, I'm going to go out and find two iron nodes and belt that iron in uh, to the uh, base. Um, because that's going to take probably the at least uh, two-thirds of an episode in length. And I don't want to be spending too much time uh, between, uh, or, or just spending time in the episodes, running around in the desert here and uh, killing hogs uh, or whatever, and uh, just doing belts, because after all, this is a tutorial episode, uh, or tutorial uh, feature series, so, you have seen me uh, constructing mines. You have seen me belting stuff from mines uh, with the basic stuff. Uh, so, when we get to the next tier uh, of uh, doing stuff, which would be the um, conveyor poles or next uh, mark belts and stuff like that, we'll revisit those mines. But I think I will do that in between episodes uh, for now. Uh, if you have major objections to that, please let me know, but I suspect that most of you are quite happy with that, so that I can actually focus on the actual base building and tips and guides in the episodes, instead of having what you could call white noise or something. I don't know. I don't know what a good term would be. For now, thank you all so much for joining me. As always, uh, comments, questions, please leave them in the uh, comments or join us in our Discord. You'll find the link for the Discord both in the video description and in the banner of uh, my channel. And I will see you all next time.